Hello everyone. So from my previous video, you have seen that how to create uh, volumes and Q tree under the NetApp controller using Ansible. Now let me introduce to a, a new module called Gathering Facts module. That is NA underscore on tap underscore gather underscore facts. So just go to internet and search for Ansible NetApp gather. You will see a module name and underscore on type underscore gather underscore fact and this is one of the very important module here uh, this module gives you uh, some facts facts are nothing but the information about the mod um, the simulator or the controller and these are different parameters what you pass in this module one is the state so if you notice it's only the information so this module is going to give you only the information you can see uh, this module return these keys under the dictionary format if you are aware with python so you know how to how the dictionary format works over here so you can see on tape underscore facts contains aggregate information cluster information ports information network information volume learn all these different information so let's see how we can write a code about this how we will use it this important module in the future let me start writing a playbook for you about this module and we will see how we'll use this this module in the future So the module what we are going to use is going to be host local host name of the playbook is gather facts let me define some tasks and the name of the task here is to be gather netapp facts the module what we are going to use is going to be n underscore on tab underscore gather underscore facts host name is my NetApp simulator IP address 192.168.0.150 user name let me pass the credentials and then as we saw state is going to be info which is pretty self-explanatory that it is going to give us the information about the simulator or NetApp cluster. Let me define other task which is the task name is print facts and this task is going to display the facts on the screen. Here I'm going to use uh, some of the Jinza2 template filters which I am not sure you are aware or not but I will explain about uh, this keyword what I have done here this looks something different from a normal YAML but uh, this is nothing but a, a Jinja2 filter or Jinja2 language we can call it and uh, this is basically used by yaml or ansible uh, to pass the pass the uh, variable information we will uh, discuss about jinja2 also in the later videos so it's a simple one uh, it's a simple playbook you can see that uh, i am using this module on tap gather facts to get the 
controller information or the simulator information and I'm going to print it. Let me save this file. Okay. So file is saved. Let me see if my file is here. I can see my file is in my Ansible controller. Before I go ahead and I run this module, let me see what all are there in my NetApp simulator. So let me see how many volumes are there. I can see there is only one volume Ansible test wall 01. Let me see if there is any Q tree. I can see there is one Q tree. So basically, uh, at least this data I should see over there. So let me run this playbook for you Ansible dash playbook. And the name of the playbook is gather.yaml. Perfect. We can see that playbook was successful. You can see that. Uh, this module has captured so much information for our Ansible controller. So you can see that I have aggregate information. I have volume information under this. It, it is showing me that I have two aggregate, aggregate two, and there is another different aggregate AGGR one. Then I should have the volume information also here. This is the cluster node information, LUN information, network port information. Yeah, you can see there are network port E0D, E0C. You can see failover information. You can see volume information. We can see our volume is also here. As you notice, uh, the output of this module, it is in a dictionary Python dictionary format and because it is in a dictionary format so it also gives us the facility or gives us the opportunity that we can take only a portion of the command and if we need only a portion of the command so uh, I will show you uh, how to take the for example if I want to see only the volume information so we will see how we can take the volume information out of this we know okay you can see this is the key for the dictionary i'm going to put it here this is the key of the dictionary and i say print only the volume information let me run this one more time Let me clear the screen for you. Let me run this playbook one more time. Okay, seems like there is some problem. So the problem here is I am using colon, but it should be the dot. Let me try to run it one more time and I hope it should run. Okay, yes. So now you can see earlier our dictionary was starting from different uh, line, but now you can see the dictionary is now starting from the volume information and this is the name of my volume. Now, if you want to see how many volumes are there, so probably you can have something like keys. It should work, I guess. And it will show you only the keys under under this dictionary let me clear this up okay it's working perfectly so you can see that we have only uh, these three volumes and if i come here you can see these three volumes are here wall zero and civil test wall zero and, and root volume of e server and we can also see the same these volumes over here so uh, using this uh, module uh, and using these keywords or using these practices you can get different information about the netapp controller or netapp simulator and now i will tell you why i want to show uh, uh, you this module and why this module is important for us 
So when we create the volume or when we create the Q tree, we don't know whether that Q tree volume already exists in the simulator or controller or not. So in using this module, we can see whether that Q tree exists or not. Because volume module or Q tree module, if Q tree exists, it will show that change was zero when you will try to create the volume, but is it is not going to show you that volume already exists in the NetApp. But using some programming, using some automation, we will see how we can combine this module on tab gather fact with the volume creation module and how we can see the information if the volume is not created because volume already exists, then it should print that volume already exists. So that was the uh, main reason I want to introduce this module to you. In coming videos, you will see how we can uh, design some program, how we can design some playbook so that we can get a message that volume already exists. So keep watching. Thank you guys.